Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his conservative AK party have suffered a major blow in local elections. Turkey's main opposition party, the secular CHP, claimed victory in key cities, including Istanbul and the capital, Ankara. Erdogan called the setback a loss of altitude and said that his party would analyze the message that the people had given him. The votes are seen as a bellwether of support for Erdogan after his 20 years in power. Opposition supporters in Istanbul are painting the town red, celebrating the main opposition CHP's spectacular victories in local elections across Turkey. The secular party sees it as a sign that it still stands a chance at the national level against the ruling AK party. These election results have been in response to the AKP regime's repression, to what they've done to the economy and the social structure of this country. And that's why I'm very happy now for my country. We were very disillusioned after last year's general elections, but now being here, celebrating with people, being able to cheer, we really miss these kind of feelings. We are very happy. And so is the man of the hour. Istanbul Mayor Ekrem Imamoglu. This is his second victory in Turkey's mega city. Imamoglu has achieved superstar status in Turkish politics, putting him on the path to national power. Many see him as President Erdogan's chief rival. The nation itself gives the order and the instructions not just one person. Officials receive instructions from the nation. The period of one-man rule is over. As of today, it is done. The republic and democracy can go full speed ahead from now on. The results mark the worst defeat for Erdogan and his AK party in more than two decades in power. The president had thrown everything at winning Istanbul, Turkey's economic and political powerhouse. He conceded the loss at his party's headquarters in Ankara. Istanbul was where Erdogan launched his political career as mayor 30 years ago. Now many see his potential challenger following in his footsteps. I spoke earlier to DW's correspondent Dorian Jones in Istanbul, and he told me more about the mood in the country following what some are calling a historic election. Well, it has to be said, the mood is quite quiet. It's today is a national holiday, and I think given the fact that many people were celebrating ri- literally all through the night, dancing and car convoys, honking their horns, a sense of jubilation and euphoria. Now, I think there's people who have a lot of sore heads this morning, uh, and uh, they will expect it to be so for the rest of the day. But it has to be said that the reason why there's so much euphoria is the opposition never saw the scale of this victory. There was a sense of absolute desolation in the run-up to these elections. The opposition were deeply divided, shocked by the defeat in last year's presidential elections, which they had hoped to have won. Uh, and they just really saw this as the last chance saloon for them, standing up to what they saw as Erdogan's increasingly tightening grip on power, control of the media, uh, prosecutions of dissent, crackdowns on independent media. There was a feeling there was increasingly little space to operate and to oppose Erdogan. These elections have completely changed that. And in fact, Ekrem Imamoglu addressing uh, thousands of supporters uh, in the early hours of, of, the, of today was saying that this message from Istanbul is a message to the world that an authoritarian rule can be defeated peacefully and democratically. And that is the message that the opposition are taking away from these results. So the opposition surprised by just how well they did here. Can you tell us what election issues were on the table that the opposition did particularly well with in this election? Well, I think it has to be said that the main issue on this election was the economy. The country's in the grip of 70% inflation. Here in Istanbul, it's pleased to be well over 100%. There is a huge amount of economic pain in the, in Istanbul and many of the cities in crap all across the country. So there is a recognition that there's as much a reaction and rejection of the government's policies, what they perceive as their indifference. But at the same time, the opposition have successfully fielded very positive candidates, people that did resonate, that reached across the deep divides of the Turkish opposition. Position. And I think that they were rewarded by the, the candidates they chose and the campaign that they ran, which surprised a lot of people. 
And you mentioned already the Istanbul mayor, Ekrem uh, Imamoglu, clearly one of the big winners in this election. Can you tell us a little bit more about what his victory means for President Erdogan? Well, Imamoglu has now defeated Erdogan on two uh, mayoral elections. This will underline his uh, credentials as the man that can defeat Erdogan and his powerful electoral machine. Even though Erdogan wasn't on the ticket, Erdogan led the campaign here in Istanbul from the front with 17 ministers touring the city in the run-up to the polls. Erdogan put his prestige on the line and he was humiliated because the defense of the defeat in Istanbul was extensive. It was places that have never voted for the opposition CHP, real strongholds of Erdogan, even where he was born and grew up in Beolu, the place where he considered his most important castle. That has fallen to the opposition, as well as a number of other important areas of the city. And that's also sending a resounding victory. Not only the, where they have, uh, not only the extent of the votes, but also where they have successfully scored victories where they have never done in a generation. Well, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed there. That is DW's Dorian Jones in Istanbul.